Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis. In this video, we're going to talk about a new way of using pumpkin that I personally have never really tried before. If you watch my channel much, you know I'm a huge booster for using pumpkin and in your diet. I, one of the reasons I love pumpkin, actually three of the reasons that I love pumpkin is one, it's uh, really easy to grow here in New England where I live. Two, it's super nutritious. And three, they're really, really easy to store. You just throw them in your basement. They last and last and last and last and last and last and last. And when uh, ever a pumpkin in your basement starts getting a soft spot, that's when it's time to use it. And I had one uh, going a little soft in my basement and I decided to use it in something. And th this uh, recipe, I didn't really do a recipe, but I ended up making this flatbread. It came from an idea uh, on a recent video I did about pumpkin. One of the commenters said, hey, you know, what if you did like a, a pumpkin flatbread? And I, I forget the details of the conversation, but they had some other recipe for like a flatbread. And they were like, ah, I wonder if you could put pumpkin in there. I tried it and it turned out pretty decent. It's got kind of a golden brown color here. I mean, generally the, uh, the dough itself is kind of like a yellow kind of color. So it came out pretty well. Um, like I said, I didn't use a recipe or anything. I just have a pile of flour, a pile of pumpkin. As you can see, it's a pretty big pile of pumpkin, some salt and some yeast. You know, I throw it all together and just from pra practice, I kind of have been getting kind of a sense of what can work and what doesn't work. The taste of it tastes a little bit like pumpkin. And, and a bit like it probably needs some more salt. You know, I guess that's the downside when you don't use recipes. Sometimes you get things like that. But I can take this. I could use it for you know, dipping in hummus or putting any other kind of toppings on it. I'm still getting the calories and the energy from it. I'm still getting the nutrition from it. And I guess low sodium is fine too. You know. uh, so yeah, yeah. Generally, what I want to share with you guys is, you know, yeah, pumpkin's great. Try to get in lots of things. But beyond that, it's just great to not feel in inhibited by not having recipes for things. Um, you know, in a collapsed environment, in an SHTF environment, you're not always going to have a, a recipe, you know, on your, you know, your smartphone or whatever, ready to go for, you know, raccoon or whatever you might come across. Oh, it's a little dry too. Uh, but as long as it's edible, as long as it's healthful and, you know, safe to eat, then, you know, if you have that that history, that background of experimenting in your kitchen now, when it's you know kind of you know safe to do it and you have the freedom to do it, uh, you're going to grow a lot of knowledge and you're going to be able to use that knowledge to be creative in situations where you have kind of some weird ingredients that you're not necessarily used to. But you know, raccoon, it's a meat. You've cooked meats before. I'm a vegetarian, so I'm not big into you know using meats now. But I know how to do it. I've probably butchered more animals than than most non-vegetarians actually. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian, but I, I have come to situations where I've, I've butchered roadkill or things for other people. So I, I've got some good butchering experience in my background, even though I'm a vegetarian myself. Um, but, uh, but still, it's like I know what to do with that kind of stuff. And the same for like plants in your landscape. Plants are plants, and as long as they're safe to eat, there's all different ways you can incorporate. And you don't need a recipe for hemlock leaves in order to put them into your diet. So that's it. Experiment, try things out now while it's easy to do so, and you'd be, probably be surprised at how good of a cook you are. Although occasionally you make something that needs a little more salt. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.